Indian automobile sector continues to be under the weather as is evident from the April 2019 volume numbers reported by the auto majors. Let's do a three-point analysis of the monthly sales numbers and the factors causing the pain. 1. How were the sales of commercial vehicles and passenger cars in April? Well, I sure Volvo witnessed a flat growth. m M&M and also posted a decline of 9% in its monthly volumes, primarily due to a significant decline in medium and heavy commercial vehicle segment volumes. Ashok Leyland, however, bucked the trend with a growth of 7% driven by LCV segment. Macro challenges led by liquidity problem, financing issues, rising interest rates, lagged impact of the new axle load norms and slowdown in the economic activity ahead of elections have actually dampened the customer's demand sentiment for commercial vehicles. Car segment also continues to be under tremendous pressure with no signs of recovery at all. The leader, Maruti, posted a decline of 19% in its volumes. Now, Maruti's management also expects the demand to be muted in H1 FI20 and believes it would recover only by H2 FI20. M&M also posted a decline of about 9% in its monthly volumes. Now, negative sentiments in the space is due to increase in total cost of ownership led by rising interest rates and mandatory long-term insurance. Further, implementation of safety norms have also led to an increase in prices. 2. How are the sales of two-wheelers and three-wheelers in April? Two-wheeler space has been the worst hit in the auto space with inventory days touching 45 to 50 days versus the normal inventory of about 20 days. Aishar, leader in the premium bike segment, also witnessed a decline of over 17% in its monthly sales numbers. Bajaj Auto, on the other hand, witnessed a 2.5% growth in its volume on the back of aggressive pricing in its entry-level segment, which actually helped it capture the hero's market share as well. The overall three-wheelers market has actually posted mixed numbers in April 2019. M&M posted a flat growth. Bajaj Auto, the leader in the space, posted a decline of nearly 9%, primarily due to a high base of last year. 3. How are the exports in April and what is the outlook on the industry? Well, exports seem to be doing good. Maruti, Aishar, M&M, Bajaj Auto and Escos have all posted growth in their export volumes. Now, tractor segment still continues to be a weak on the back of higher base of last year and subdued farm sentiment as well. All eyes are now on monsoon and the festive season as well as hopes of revival in demand in volumes post the elections.